Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Luke Skywalker's land speeder. It is Lego Star Wars set number 8092. It has a total of 163 pieces. It comes with six minifigures and it has three human minifigures and three droid minifigures. Here's the top of the box where it shows the components made in a couple of countries and then Luke Skywalker. It is a special edition Lego set and in the back it shows a little action scene and on the side it says special edition. This set I believe can only be bought either online through eBay or the Lego store. I haven't seen it anywhere else such as Target or Walmart or Toys R Us even. So and it is a hefty $25. So if I were you, I would probably buy something on Lego from the Lego store, save up your points and then either get this cheap or or wait for a sale. So here's what's inside the box. You just get one medium sized bag and two tiny little bags. And then you get these two little tube, tubular thingies. And then the instruction book. Still has that kit on there. Here are all the pieces to this special edition Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder set. I'll try to be as steady as I can and then you guys can take a look at each individual piece if you decide that you want to try to mock it yourself. Here's a little slow scroll through there you go so here it is all complete and let's get started we have the three humanoids here we have Luke Skywalker Obi-Wan Kenobi and a sand trooper Luke Skywalker and his re routine Rookie get up, and we have Obi Wan in gray hair, old age Obi Wan Kenobi, and then you have uh, a sand trooper which has uh, somewhat of a specialized armor because uh, when patrolling in a 100 degree weather, their suits actually give them air conditioning inside, and they need to be specially trained for that. That was a, a jet pack on the back. This is supposed to be a shoulder pad, which Lego tried to attempt, but it looks more like a half cloak, uh, half cloak outfit. And then now for the droids, we have R2, uh, 3CPO, R2D2, and a Sentry droid. And 3CPO is pretty much a routine protocol droid. And then you have R2D2, which is an astro droid. And then the sentry droid, which is mainly a scouter that if they need to find a uh, fugitive, they'll use this, this sentry droid to scout around and notify the sand troopers. So there you have it. And then we have two guest stars from the Padawan Menace. We have Yoda and Han Solo. And they are pretty neat characters. This is the first appearance when Han was young. 
I think he should have been in the movie Young, but oh well. It was a nice little uh, video that I saw. Very funny. Recommended. And here is the speeder itself. Go raise the camera up a little bit. The speeder is nice. You can seat two guys in there. So we can seat Han Solo in there. I mean Luke Skywalker. And we'll have Obi-Wan Kenobi driving. There you go. And of course you could see the maximum of two guys on there. Maybe you could fit one more like Han Solo in there. I'm not sure. There you go. <laughs> His arm all torqued back. So you could see probably a maximum of three people if you put the arms like that. This is a cool little design here. There's nothing to attach, it just, uh, you just bend these tubes and then they just go right in there. It's really cool. It has a steering wheel inside. There's the bottom of the ship where you can glide these across the carpet. Uh, I'm not sure, I forgot why this engine is different from all the other engines. Maybe they needed to repair it or something. I forgot. And here's the back, which looks pretty neat. So you can basically just... You know, do a couple of cool views with this. Yeah, and then uh, it does have a trunk, so if you take Han out, you have a trunk for your lightsabers, or blasters, whatever you want. And there you have it. This is uh, Luke Skywalker's um, land speeder. Thank you for watching.